Facebook ads are getting expensive. In fact, in the last two years, the cost to advertise on Facebook has gone up by 60%, especially if you're using the same strategy as everybody else. But I've found a Facebook ad strategy that gets you customers for less than a dollar, and it's so easy to set up, I'm surprised there's not more people talking about it. Let me show you how it works. In your ads account, I'm gonna click Create, and we're gonna choose a leads campaign. Now, the reason we choose a leads campaign and not a sales campaign is a leads campaign allows us to capture the customer's information before they purchase. So we can get their name, we can get their email, we can get their phone number before they even make a purchase. It's a great way to put our brand in front of someone and not directly sell to them. So even if they don't visit our website and buy from us, we've got some information which means we can bring them back. I like to think of it as the capture and convert process. So let's click continue. We're gonna choose a tailored leads campaign. Now the type of leads campaign we're gonna run here is what we call a competition entry. And the strategy behind this is we're gonna show our product to people, but it's gonna be for them to win it in a prize draw. They're gonna to have to enter their first name, their email, their phone number to win the product that we wanna sell them. Now the reason we do that is because if we give away the product we wanna sell and someone's interested in entering that draw, then they're clearly interested in that product, which means we show them the products we sell, they can enter it, we get the information, and then we try and sell them the product. It's a really powerful way to attract the right audience at a really low cost and get them into our world. So we'll call this comp entry campaign and then let's just go through and fill it all out. So we're going to make this an instant forms campaign. We're going to choose our Facebook page. Now we've already accepted the terms and conditions. Now the cool thing about this, it doesn't need to be a big daily budget. So it could be something like $10 a day. Uh, we don't need to worry about a start and end date. We're going to run this forever. We don't need to set an audience. We're gonna make it super broad. And make sure you choose the right location for where you are. Now I'm based in Australia, so we'll keep that there. Now from an age demographic, try and keep it as broad as possible. But if you're targeting older people, then you can close this down a little bit. If you're targeting younger people, you can do the same thing. Uh, I typically do all genders. I don't worry about doing it between male or female. Uh, we'll keep detail targeting on, languages all on. Okay, let's go to the next bit. Okay, let's go through the steps here from the top. So we'll call this uh, comp ad one. Now we're not gonna do it as a partnership ad, make sure our Facebook and Instagram is set up. Now I just use a single image or video for these types of lead ads. We're gonna turn off uh, multi-advertiser ad. And then this is where we actually wanna create the instant form. Now I've got a form that I created earlier, but you're probably not gonna have anything in here. So let's create a form together. We'll click create form. We'll call this uh, comp entry form. Now we can choose the type that we wanna have here, whether it's more volume, higher intent, or rich creative. Now I'm just gonna do more volume because we just wanna get as many people as we can into this. I'm gonna click next. Now in here, we're gonna type a little bit about what they get when they enter the form. So in here, we're gonna do enter to win a month worth of free coffee. And here we'll just fill in some more details. And you can start to see what it looks like here. Now, I'm gonna actually tidy that up a little bit. Win a month's supply of coffee. That sounds better. Okay, so something that's really attractive. Beautiful. Enter your details, go in the draw to win a month worth of coffee. Who doesn't want free coffee? All right, let's go to the next bit. This is where we enter the details that we wanna have. So, um, in here we'll say, please provide as much details so that we can let you know if you are aware. And we can see we can put email in here, full name in there. So we'll choose full name, email. We can even do a phone number. And you can see underneath this add a category here, it has all these predefined fields. Now, the great thing about using instant forms is Meta or Facebook, wherever they're entering, knows everything about this user. So when they go to enter the form, this is all gonna be pre-filled for them. They don't actually need to type anything, which is why I really love this as an entry form. There's no friction. They click it, they click enter, and it's absolutely done. Okay, so we can see what it looks like. Uh, please provide as much detail as possible. Enter your full name, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that looks really good. Let's go to the next bit. Now in here, you just need to link to the privacy policy on your website. <laughs> I've just got mine down in the bottom here. We'll click the privacy policy, copy that. And we'll put it in here and that's fine. And then we click next. Okay, and then this is, that's it, you're all set. Now I'm gonna change this a little bit because we wanna encourage people to check the email and then visit our site. This is where the sales side comes in. Thanks, you're now in the draw to win. Okay, 
we have sent you an email with more information. Let's go and check it now. So what we're doing here is we're confirming that they've entered to win a competition, but we're telling them to do something next. We want them to go in and check the email that comes from us. So I'm gonna show you in a moment how we connect our email provider directly into this so it automatically sends them an email. We want them to check the email because that's where we're going to do the selling. But if they decide not to go check the email, we're gonna give them a secondary option to do. So here we've got uh, go to website, view file or call business. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose go to website. I'm gonna choose the product that they are gonna win, which is this one here. We're gonna copy that URL. We're gonna go back here and put the link in here, okay? And then instead of visit website, see what you can win, okay? And that's gonna take them directly to that product page. And we can see this is what it looks like here, okay? Uh, now we click create form. And that's now put this form directly in here. So when someone clicks this ad, this form is gonna pop up. It's all gonna be pre-populated with their information and they're gonna enter it. And that information is gonna be stored in Facebook. I'm gonna show you how to connect it to your email provider shortly, but let's actually put some ad creative in here first. So we're gonna scroll down here and now we're gonna set up the ad creative. So we're gonna click set up creative. I'm gonna do an image ad for now. And then we're going to add the media in and we will grab, uh, upload something I've created earlier. Okay, I've got these two here. I'm gonna open those. I'm gonna upload them in. Now, I just created these directly in Canva. It was super quick and super easy. So I'm gonna choose one of these and I'm gonna click next. And you can see what I've done here is I've made it super clear. They know exactly what's happening. Win a month supply of coffee. It's got a picture of our coffee product there. It's got some nice coffee beans. But what you'll see is this one's a square image and it works well, but this vertical image doesn't work very well. So we can actually click replace and I've created another version, which is really good for stories. So make sure you create the two different versions uh, in Canva when you do that. Now this one here looks a little bit funky. So I'm probably going to go and crop that one and make it look a little bit like that. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. This placement actually doesn't get shown that much anyway. Let's click next. Uh, it's actually done something for us. I'm not really going to do that. I don't think they look very good. So we'll just leave that and we'll skip that and continue. And I'm not going to do that either. We'll just untick those. Just want to turn it off. I don't need music on the back of my images and we'll click done. Okay, awesome. So that's now filled it out and we can now see here what it starts to look like, okay? But what you will notice is that there's nothing in the items here. So we don't have to start filling that in. So that's our primary text and our secondary text. So in the primary text, we wanna talk a little bit about the product that they win. So our one is three times stronger than other concentrates. I like a little bit of coffee. Pure coffee liquid extract. So we can see that this type of text just goes really, really well with the image. So we wanna complement the image with the text. Now in this part here, we wanna talk a little bit more about the competition just so it stands out. So this is where the headline comes in. We can have win a month supply of liquid instant coffee. And then we can do here worth 59.95, okay, something like that. So they can see there's a value in there. And now we can see that there looks really, really good. And if we look down to other placements, we can see how really good it looks. Cool, pretty handy, huh? All right, let's go down. And we're gonna change it from sign up to, let's see, get offer is probably the best one. You can play around with this and see which works better for you. I don't mind the get offer. One thing I don't want you to do here though is like have subscribe or sign up. Even though they are gonna be joining an email list, uh, we want it to be a little bit more like get the offer or maybe apply now could work. Yeah, that could be good. Apply now actually fits nicely there just so it's a, a better sort of text. All right, let's go down. We've turned off all our enhancements. Um, we're not gonna to worry too much about that, but we're gonna add in our events that we always do. This is really good practice for any type of ads you do. We wanna be able to track where they come from. So I just do that it's meta, it's cost per click. We're gonna do the campaign name dynamically. We do campaign content, which is add name dynamically. Click apply. What that's gonna do is add some tracking to every single link that comes from this ad. And that means we can track to see whether it turns us into sales or leads or whatever it is for your business. Okay. So that one there is done. Now what I wanna do is we can uh, click publish there. So that's already good to go. And what's gonna happen is people are gonna enter that competition 
and we're gonna be able to capture those leads directly in Facebook. We can export them and send them an email, but that's very manual. There is actually an automated way we can do this. A lot of our email platforms can actually integrate tightly. Now we use Klaviyo because we're an e-commerce business. So we tightly integrate Klaviyo directly with Meta Ads, and then we set up an automated flow and we send out a series of emails based on when they enter this competition. This is really where the secret source is that gets you the extra sales. So I'm gonna show you how I've done that now. So in your Klaviyo account, I want you to click integrations, now I've already got meta ads set up in here. Now if you don't have meta ads, I want you to click add integrations. We're gonna type in here, we're gonna type in meta. And we click in there, and then we're gonna be able to install the app there. Now I've already got it, so I can just go straight into manage app. Now what we're gonna see here is you've got two options. You've got custom audiences and lead ads. I want you to click into lead ads. We're gonna click get started. We're gonna click our Facebook page. And then here, what we're gonna actually see is the instant form that we created. So we're gonna click select lead ad, and we can see we've got this comp entry form. We're gonna choose that one. And then here, we're gonna choose a list that we want it to go to. Now I've created a list already, and it's called competition entries. So you're gonna to need to create a list for yours in there. We're gonna click competition entries, and they're gonna be able to subscribe to email. Now here you could do subscribe to SMS, or you could do subscribe to email and SMS. Now if you notice, I had both an email and a phone number in this entry form. So we're gonna click that and then we're gonna click save. So now every lead that comes in from this Facebook lead ad or every competition entry is now gonna go directly into this competition entries list. But that's not where it finishes. This is where we now use Klaviyo to create an automation so that when someone enters the list, they automatically get a series of emails. Let me show you how that works. I'm gonna to go to flows and I've created a flow which is called the competition series. So dose competition series. Now this is very similar to a welcome series where we welcome them to our list and we nurture them through. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of a secret on this one. This is the first one here, the first entry. And this is what it looks like. We've got a subject line that says, we've received your entry. This gets sent instantly when they fill out the form. Now the cool thing here is we're actually gonna be adding $5 off their first order. So I'll show you what this email looks like. We've got the same image that we had on the ad just so they can understand the correlation between the two. We've scrolled down, it's got a little message here, hey, first name, and that will be dynamically generated based on what they've entered from Facebook. Congrats, you're now in the draw to win a month's supply of coffee. A winner is drawn every month, so keep an eye on your emails to see if your name is drawn. If you're just hearing about us for the first time, we're dosed. Now this section is where it gets really important. If you think about how this ad's sort of running right now, someone's in Instagram, they see win a month supply of free coffee. They don't know anything about our brand. They just know they're gonna win free coffee because we've attracted them with the product. So they go in and they enter the competition, they fill out the details and they get this email. They don't really know much about you and your brand. So this is the email where we say, hey, you're in the competition, but this is who we are because it's effectively the first time they're hearing about you, right? So we need to introduce who you are. So this is what we've written. If you're just hearing about us for the first time, we're dosed. The liquid instant coffee that it's about to make your mornings and afternoons and evenings a whole lot smoother. Think of us as your coffee BFF, ready to give you that full bodied flavor anytime, anywhere. We've got your back. So as a token of your appreciation, here's $5 off your first order with us. And here we give them a dynamic coupon code and they can use the voucher now. So you can see what is happening here. We've attracted them with a really cheap, low value ad, $10 a day, less than a dollar per lead. They land into our email and this is where we actually convince them to buy from us. A clear call to action, an offer to buy a product and they go through our funnel. And then we send them a number of follow-up emails. If you have a look through our flow, we have another email here, which is meet the founders. And that's an email of, with me and my, uh, my wife in there, which is amazing. Uh, the next one is what people are saying about us. So we put our reviews for social proof in there. The next one is then what makes us different, what makes us stand out. This is a video of me making the coffee. And then the next one, we go through and we actually start to remind them about the coupon code. Now this will only get sent if they haven't made an offer. And then the last one is, is a final reminder for the coupon code. And then we can do this via email or SMS. So you can see exactly what is happening here and why this strategy is super powerful. We're putting an ad up there, we're attracting people with our product where they don't even know about us and we're showing them who we are. They enter the competition to win this product. They get sent to our product page, they get sent an email, and then in that email series, we use that as a way to nurture, to sell, to actually get them to buy from us. It's a really, really powerful strategy. So if you're not using meta lead ads in your overall Facebook ad strategy, you are absolutely leaving money on the table. It's a really cost-effective way to not only get sales, but to get people 
in your email inbox. Now, if you found that video useful, I've got another one that is gonna be absolutely perfect for you that I think you really wanna watch now.